Hi YouTube, DFishMan76. Uh, we're starting this cutout today. Uh, this is one of the ones I did a little preview on. As you can see, we got a pretty good amount of bee activity on the side, but I'm thinking that the truss is running from front to back of this house, so uh, we're going to open up the back of it and see what it looks like. I think the bees are just using that side right there to, to more or less get in and out of the hive, so uh, right there they are. So uh, we're fixing to get this started and we'll see where it goes. Here's what we got so far. Had to remove part of the 2x6 to, or the 2x8 to get there where they're at, but this is the hive. I don't know if you can tell it or not, but it's in between two floor joists. So uh, we don't really know how big this baby's gonna be until we get to it, so let's get started.
hope we can find the queen and get her unharmed because uh, she looks like she's a really good one. I normally try not to put much honey in the hive because uh, the bees are already going to be at a weakened state. And uh, if they got a whole lot of honey just flowing around in the hive, they're more likely to be robbed. There she is. She's a big old pretty thing. I knew she'd be a pretty good sized queen. Being the fact that uh, this hive was doing so good. But that is her. And all her greatness. This is what we had. Uh, you can see there's a block back there and there's a little piece of comb I still got to get out. but. Uh, when I finally did get the queen, she was all the way on the back wall, kind of like uh, that other hive removal that I did, and where I had to cut the board out, and all this, like in a little split, split level house. But this is the end of the cut out. I got to get all this cleaned up. I think we got a little bit of rain coming. So uh, all in all, the bees are pretty good. Most of the time, if I got stung today, it's because I mashed one or something else. So I'm gonna get this cleaned up. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, when I get back home, I'll show you me getting the bees out of the the bee vac and all the other good stuff. So uh, stick around. Little word to the wise. Also, when you're doing a cutout, don't hang your buckets under where you're working at because I got honey all over this, these buckets right here. I'm gonna have to uh, do some serious cleaning on them. So uh, hanging your buckets under your workspace just because it's convenient for you does not mean and it is going to be a good thing because, like I said, these right here are covered in honey. Alrighty. Let me get you straightened up a little bit, y'all. Uh, there's four, five, there's six frames right here of brood that I got out of that cutout. I'm not going to put any more frames in here for right now. I just more or less want these to bees to tend to this and uh, more or less draw this on out and try to connect all the stuff in the frames. That way uh, it's solid. Sometimes when you do a cutout, the bees kind of halfway secure the, uh, the cut comb into the frames and it can be just a pain in the butt. So I'm just going to leave them like this right here. I'm going to get these bees into here and the way I'm going to do it is uh, by putting two hives on top of here. That give me enough room to take this, turn it upside down and let the bees out. But before I do that, I have a queen in here. Let me get a frame. I'm gonna uh, rubber band her to a frame in the, the thing. That's how I'm gonna do that. Just So just hold on. All right, so what I did with the queen was uh, I put her on a little piece of wire in the queen clip and stuck her down in the cage. The trick's gonna be able to get her out, get her on the thing, and not get eat up. Sometimes when you uh, vacuum bees, they get a little pissy, so we're gonna see how this goes. Uh, this could be comical. So, uh, let's see what happens. I'm normally not a big fan of plastic foundation, but uh, the advantage of plastic foundation is uh, it's a good place to put your queen. You ain't gotta worry about the uh, it pressing through. As you can see, the bees are tending to them to mama.
would be this piece of wire off of this piece. There we go. See, all that rubber band's gonna do is just hold the, the queen clip in location. Stick it in the middle of the hive. I always leave a little bit of space, that way they can get it, still get around the clip. Put these two hive bodies on here, like so. Make sure we got plenty of room when we do. Mmm, basket OBs. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. See how the bees are coming out? Some of them are fanning. That's just letting everybody know that this is where they're at. This is where the queen is. You'll notice there's not a whole lot of them flying around. There's going to be a few flying around, of course, but not a whole lot. I'm going to reduce the entrance, put the top on it and uh, close it up. I'll probably leave it for at least a day and then I'll take the, uh, the cage out because all the bees should be out by the end. So uh, let me put this back up on the stand and I'll record the rest of it. Homemade entrance reducer because I'm cheap. I don't like to buy them if I can make them. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this over to the far right because most of the frames are in the middle. I'm not going to reduce it all the way down to the bottom because there's enough bees in here that can protect that uh, if need be. Interest reducer zone. I just pulled the tape off of the bottom of the, uh, the vacuum box that way. That's another way for them to get out. Put the top on, or the inner cover, homemade. And then, put the lid on top of that. Now, uh, that's a little wobbly. I'm gonna get some cinder block or two and throw up on top of it. That way it's uh, good and secure. I'm gonna give it a couple days, probably two days, and I'll take that uh, the, the cage out or the basket out, and uh, that'll be it. The bees will be there to defend for self and hopefully survive the winter. Matter of fact, once they get set up, I'm gonna uh, feed them a little bit. They had a whole there was a whole lot of honey in that hive, and I hated to do the cutout this time of year, but they wanted them out of that rental house, so. Uh, this is going to be the end of the video for now. I'll probably do a video of me taking the basket out and just general help for the bees. So, uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Uh, it takes a little time to do these videos. So, uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. If there's anything you'd like to know or like to see, just uh, leave it in the comments and I'll see what I can do to make it happen. See you on the next one.